In this module, we will focus on phonology or phonological processing skills that are important for learning to read. As we learned in module two, children need to connect print and sound information to read words. But how do children become better at phonological processing? There are two types of phonological processing skills. One is the ability to pay attention to smaller speech sounds that make up words. This is called phonological awareness. Another is the ability to pay attention to the sounds that change how a whole word sounds by adding stress or tone. We will give you many examples of these skills in this module. In this section, we focus on phonological awareness. There are different levels of phonological awareness, syllable, onset rhyme, and phoneme. Children find it easiest to focus on syllables. Syllables are easier than phonemes. Another way of saying this is that bigger sounds, syllables, are easier for children to process than smaller sounds, phonemes. Between syllables and phonemes, there's also the level of onset rhyme. Onsets are the initial sound of the word. This could be a consonant like d in doll, or a consonant cluster, where two or three consonants appear together like dr in drip. In short words like doll and drip, rhyme is composed of the sounds that follow the onset. Figure one shows how words are segmented into onset rhyme units. Phonological awareness is an important component of learning to read across scripts. Children who experience reading difficulties often have difficulties in phonological awareness as well. But there are differences in phonological awareness that can be seen in children around the world. For example, Italian-speaking children can be quicker to develop phoneme-level awareness than English-speaking children. This is because letter-sound relationships in their language are easier to learn than in English. Phonological awareness in English can be especially difficult because there are many consonant clusters. It is hard to hear the individual sounds in such clusters. Other languages, such as Chinese or Bemba, have few or no consonant clusters. The experience of Korean-speaking children is also a bit different. In Korean, words are divided into the body and coda. Body includes the beginning of the word until the vowel sound. The coda is the part of the word after the vowel. In Korean, it is easier to divide cat into ka, body, and t, coda, than into k, onset, and at, rhyme, as is more typical in English. This could be because Korean children hear more words that have the same body than the same rhyme. Because Korean children are used to dividing words by body and coda, they will find it harder to do activities that ask them to delete just the first sound or the onset of a word. Hebrew-speaking children might also prefer dividing words by body and coda rather than by onset and rhyme. Next, we will look at stress and tone as other types of phonological processing skills. Then we will look at how phonological processing skills can be taught and assessed in children.